Thanks very much for joining us here at Warner House for this very special event. So let's welcome David to the stage. As I work for Interfilm, I wanted to ask David how he got into film. I, I, I got into film by um, doing what you guys do. I went to the pictures when I was a kid, when I was 13, 12, 13. I saw a couple of movies that really inspired me. I asked my mum, could I have a cine camera? And she gave me this little Super 8 camera and I started making things. And I just never stopped. I never stopped from that point on. I just started early and I never gave up. I think that was the key. Do you have any advice, David, on directing actors and a, few, and a film crew? I think the key is ultimately you're there to motivate and inspire. The directors who I've seen who, who hope to succeed but don't generally try and control or micromanage too much. They try and be too prescriptive. When I've done workshops and looked at people who are hoping to direct, the ones who do well are those people who are, ab are able to wake people up, able to inspire people rather than control them. With uh, working with actors, how do you understand their character? Did you direct them or did you let them kind of collaborate with you to think what their character is feeling? I get excited by the characters that the actors are playing. To me, they often become very real and that, those characters are very real for the actor, of course, as well. But it's, it's not a fixed thing. It's a very dynamic process working with actors and the relationships you share with them are always subtly or quite dramatically different actor to actor. Is it essential to get a degree if you want to go into the film industry or is it better to start off as a runner um, and kind of work your way up? I don't think a degree is necessarily essential. I think if you come in and you impress people and you make yourself indispensable, you can flourish and you can go far. It helps in certain um, parts of the film industry. If you wanted to go and work for the BFI or if you wanted to go work for Channel 4, if you want to be a storyteller, I think you should just make stories. What advice would you give to someone that simply wants to become a better storyteller? You know what, I would, I would watch as much as you can. Um, I would read as much as you can. I would look at stories from other cultures. I would look at movies from other cultures. I would see how human beings deal with stories generally, not just within our culture, because um, that's always enlightening. And, um, and I would practice storytelling, learning what works and what doesn't work. It's a very personal thing, I guess. What process did you go through as a teenager doing your first films, and how did you feel about them? Well, my first films, I, I always collared my brother or my mates with my Super 8 camera, so they, were always, they always starred in them, in them. And I'm very proud of them, actually. They're not bad little films. But the most important part of developing as a storyteller is when you fail. Because when you fail, you learn the most. If you're always good, or if you're always great, then it's not necessarily a good thing for your development. I made this short film that did brilliantly around the world, won all these awards. That did me less good than the film I made directly after it that was actually not very good at all. And in making the film that was not very good at all, I probably learnt the most. Uh, I was just wondering, when you're on set, obviously you're directing both cast and crew, how do you balance your attention between the two of them? You just naturally go to where the work needs to be done. I like both sides of the camera. That's yeah, I like it all basically, from script development to prep to storyboarding to pre visits to visual effects to music to editing to getting a performance from an actor to choosing the lens with a DOP. All of it is great, great, great fun. And principally because you're working with so many different gifted people that it's hard to get bored. So I would heartily recommend it as a career choice. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you are. It's a great note to finish on, I think. Um, I hope you join me in thanking David for coming today, and we're looking forward to your next project. Great. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you.